Hello everyone and welcome to this quick live that I had to do. So yesterday, if you were watching the news and you got a notification, notification like I've done or I've received from OpenAI. So they dropped chat GPT or GPT 4.40 O for Omni. So I wanted just to give you a quick update on what's happening and then maybe check live if I gained already, maybe not, the access to the uh, desktop app that they also announced yesterday. So let me show you my screen as usual. Okay, so hello GPT 4.0. We are announcing GPT 4.0, our new flagship model that can reason across audio, vision, and text in real time. Now it confused me a little bit because across the board what they are saying and what they're talking about is that this is better than GPT chat GPT for turbo across everything um, and it's 50% cheaper so if, if I'm mistaken just please correct me and put a comment in the comment section but this is what I got from uh, reading the email that I've received from them um, but let, let's just quickly look at the high level description of this and again this is where i say it, it was shocking that they're saying it's cheaper and better across everything so what does that mean for uh, gpt4 turbo so gpt40 o for omni is a step towards much more natural human computer interactions it accepts any uh, as input any combination of text audio image and video and generates any combinations of text audio and image outputs it can respond to audio inputs in a, as a little as 232 milliseconds with an average of 320 milliseconds which is similar to human response time in a conversation it matches gpt4 turbo performance on text in english and code with significant improvement on text in non-english languages while also being much faster and 50% cheaper in the API. GPT-4.0 is especially better at vision and audio understanding compared to existing models. So from the sounds of it, it's just better, faster, cheaper. All right, sounds really, really good. Maybe too good to be true. We'll see people now testing it and pushing its limits. Um, and th then just uh, those descriptions around um, uh, compar co comparisons to previous models and some uh, samples of inputs and outputs. You know, we'll not go through that. There's benchmarking across uh, other models and their own models. So if you see uh, the orange is uh, GPT-4 Turbo um, and you can see basically it beats it nearly um, everywhere. So this is math, uh, GPA, um, the MMLU, I forgot what was that. Um, human evaluation, okay. And do, I, I think there was one of them, the bar, at some point. I don't know if it's still the same. They should have some explanation of these uh, benchmarks. But basically, yeah, it, uh, it tops everything. Well, this drop F1 test, a turbo still beats um, 4.0. I don't know what exactly this one is. Uh, but we can check. Uh, Claude still at one of them still um, leads, but for the most part, it is the uh, best, we can say it is the best model out there as of today. Now the interesting part, let's look at the price. So this is the price for input and output uh, for the model. And you can see for the input, $5 per 1 million tokens and output $15 per 1 million token. Compared to GPT-4 Turbo, and this is the API cost, we're talking about $10 per 1 million tokens for input and $30 for 1 million tokens of output. And it's literally or exactly 50% cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo. The good thing, every automation I have already um, is using the assistant, which made it really easy that I log into my OpenAI platform go to each assistant and uh, default that assistant to uh, GPT-4.0 and I will see how they perform 
uh, going forward and I'll post on the community the feedback if you're interested to know that. Now, last but not least, I struggled to find the link uh, to download. I'll put it in the description. You'll find it after the live in the description. I found the download for the um, the model, uh, the desktop app uh, for ChatGPT in general, the one that they announced. Um, now, I can, I, I did download it. I will test if it will install for me. It, it has to do with your account. Um, let me check just, let's just test it live um, and see how it goes. So let me bring in the, the folder here. Yep. So I'll just double click it. And you can see the app is here. Now, will it install and you know carry on doing what it should do? Um, is a different uh, question altogether because of um, the um, what I read online. Not everyone, uh, it's not working for everyone. So they're rolling uh, it out for plus users um, slowly. I'm a plus user, so I would assume um, that I get it. Um, so I'll stop this one. Uh, click on the installer here. Okay. Yeah. I got the coming soon message, so it's coming soon for me. I don't have access yet. That's fine. At least I have it downloaded, which is good. So I have access uh, to the application already. I don't need to re-download later on. Um, I put the link in the uh, description so you can uh, go to the link and try for yourself. Maybe you are luckier than me. So this is a quick one. Uh, I thought it's so interesting, so intriguing that I shouldn't miss making a video. I didn't want to waste time preparing a video. I thought a live would be better, maybe more natural. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. Hey, at the end of the day, AI is telling you to do so. Um, with this, thank you and goodbye.